Hi students, welcome to Unacademy Neat English. I am your biology educator Ambika Sharma and in this video we will discuss about the essentials required for Neat 2024 counselling. So in this video I will share a list of documents, right? So you make sure before your counselling you have that and if you don't have any documents please go to the respective departments and get it. They are much needed for your counselling. So to start with the application form of Neat, the admit card of Neat, the Neat scorecard or the rank later. So firstly let's discuss these three things. So while filling up the application form we get that confirmation page if you have that that's a very good thing please take a print out of that right and make sure you have more than two copies or three copies one thing now you know that the revised result for the NEET 2024 is out so you have your scorecard you have the rank letter as well so definitely you should have that and please please for all these documents make sure as I said you should have the photocopies of these documents and the Neat admit card, the one which is signed by invigilator. So these are the three most important things that you need. Now let's move to the next document here. So here you people can see you need the class 10th certificate and the mark sheet, right? And why this certificate is very important for verifying the date of birth. So let me tell you students in some boards, they provide the certificate as well as the mark sheet. But if you don't have any certificate, but you, if you have the mark sheet, that will be more than sufficient. So when you go to the counseling, okay, make sure you carry the original documents and their photocopies as well right if you are not carrying your original documents you just have photocopies then you can be in trouble because they will check your original documents first so make sure you carry it then class 12 certificate and the mark sheet as well so these are the two things that you should have again original plus photocopy then eight passport size photographs i'll suggest you can go for eight to ten passport size photographs if you can keep the same passport size photographs that you have uh, uploaded in the application form that will be good right that will be better that that is my suggestion for all of you right then caste certificate if applicable right if you have any caste quota then you should have that certificate but please students check one thing in some uh, basically in the caste certificate there is a date given right about, uh, which uh, tells us uh, which is basically regarding its validity right let's say your counseling starts in the month of august okay and your uh, caste certificate is valid till 31st July only so they are not going to accept it so please check that date and make sure during your counseling process you have that valid caste certificate okay and if you don't have it you can go to the notary right and uh, in whatever area because sometimes there are different different procedures to make such documents so go to that respective department right and please get it done now the next is provisional allotment letter obviously you will fill the uh, preference right basically for the counseling process you know that you have to fill the form you have to pay the fee and you have to select the colleges so as per your marks as per your rank you are going to get the colleges as per your preferred list right so you will get a seat allotment letter that is a provisional letter so you have to carry it with yourself and again as i said do carry the photocopies as well then id proof you can go for aadhar card pan card driving license passport right and again original plus photocopy is required then pw certificate if applicable okay you have to carry it with yourself and then school living certificate so that school living certificates in some states it is called as the transfer certificate as well so this slc you need after class 12 let's say if after 10th you have changed your school and then you think that i need to carry that certificate also no after class 12th right your school is going to give you the certificate right and it can be the transfer certificate as well and sometimes you know when you transfer like school living certificate and transfer certificate is almost same okay in uh, some states it is transfer certificate and in some states it is school living certificate so this is what you need and you will get it after your class 12 okay then migration certificate you are going to get the certificate from the board or from the university let's say right uh, you are doing bsc nursing at this point of time right now you want to join the mbbs so your university is going to provide you this migration certificate that you are moving from this college to this college and even 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 in some uh, you know schools basically let's say you are changing your board or something like that right so then in that case also you will be needing these certificates right let's say you have completed your 12th from the college itself then you are moving to that uh, uh, MBBS you are moving from MBBS so you need that certificates okay you need that certificates then the domicile certificate that you belong to a particular state so it is required for state counseling only okay right it is not required for all India quota but it is required for the state counseling okay like let's say i belong to himachal pradesh so i need to carry that certificate right if i want to take the benefit of that 85 percent state quota then this 
state this domicile certificate is not required for the students who uh, those who, who have completed their uh, 11th and 12th from the daily itself those who are who want to go for the delhi quota okay so they don't need it if they have completed their 11th and 12th from delhi itself then they don't need that certificate okay then the gap certificate let's say after class 12th right you took a drop right and now you you will go for the admission so obviously you have to go to the notary right there will be an affidavit okay so there all the details will be filled that after 12th you are preparing and this and that okay so they are going to mention it it will not take much time right so this is the certificate that you have to carry that will make sure that in that gap after your class 12th what you have done so it will be mentioned in this gap certificate then equivalency certificate the study certificate so students these are the certificates which are not required for all the states right let's say if you are getting admission in Telangana, okay, so if you are getting admission in Telangana, then you need this equivalency certificate, right? If your 12th is from other board and now you are taking admission there in Telangana, that uh, it is uh, required at that time only. So if you think that now itself you will make all the documents, no, for the equivalency certificate, I'll suggest if you will get that college, then only go for that because for this certificate, yes, you have to pay some fee, right, from the from their website itself you are going to get it so i'll suggest when you will get admission then only go for the certificate and the study certificate it is required in karnataka okay then one more certificate is there that is the character certificate so your school is going to issue that certificate let's say you have completed your 12th right your school will give you the character certificate they will write few lines there right so this certificate is valid for six months only not more than that so please check the validity of all the certificates that you have right so what you can do right if you uh, drop the year or a uh, two years then you can go to your school again you can talk to your principal you can show your documents they can allot you this if let's say they are denying for it then obviously in whatever state uh, you belong right you can go to that area you can go to that government office right they can help you they will guide you about it and you can get it very easily so sometimes the format for the certificate you know you can get it from a stationary shop and that uh, basically a government officer is going to sign it and they'll provide you the details so you can go for it health certificate again but it is required when your admission is confirmed so it is not required in all the states some states they ask for it let's say maharashtra right they can ask for the health certificate so when you will get admission they'll guide you that this is what they need right so these are that uh, certificates which you will be needing at the time of uh, when your admission is confirmed so the most important things which you are not allowed to miss is these right the admit card for need the Revised scorecard for need, your passport size photographs, your 10th and 12th certificate, your mark sheets, right, your caste certificate, right, seat allotment certificate, ID uh, proof, the uh, the PW uh, D letter if you are applicable for it. So these are the things which you are not allowed to miss at all. Okay, okay. So rest documents, even at the time of admission right you can uh, submit it later as well but other documents you need for the counseling for the confirmation of your seat as well okay so let's say you have taken an uh, admission in a let's say in a college okay now you are moving to moving for mbbs or you are moving for other course so obviously your school living certificate is there in that particular college in that particular university then they'll give you the transfer certificate so that is how in some other some states you know their name they vary okay so as for your state you can check it and you can get these documents okay so if there is any doubt related to the documents you can let me know in the comment section i will definitely help you students and if you people are right preparing even if your juniors are preparing for the need 2025 do let them know that we have started our new batch and that is your phoenix pro batch by team avengers so i will suggest you people to go for this batch because it is one of the best batches for the neat preparation it is the last live batch which we are going to provide to our students remaining whatever batches we are going to start after it they'll be live plus recorded but this batch is going to be live students and you just need to pay rupees four triple nine for it and in four triple nine rupee in this price you'll get the classes your 11 and 12th syllabus will be completed right whenever we will start the uh, crash course you will automatically get enrolled there right so you have to pay nothing for that you'll get the access of the mock test right which we are taking 
in this batch plus after it whenever we will start the proper test series where all india rank predictors will be there you will have the access of that test series also so in just 4 triple nine rupees you will have access of all the batches that are running across an academy platform and you know that the one of the best team is going to coach you here and that is your team avengers so now right so you can enroll in this batch till 31st of july because from 1st of august we'll be starting our classes so our target is to complete your syllabus right to complete complete your syllabus here in six months so first august to 31st january we are going to complete your syllabus right in six months we are going to complete your syllabus with question practice with doubt solving right but so what you have to do just go to your favorite channel unacademy neat english right you can check the videos here right so yesterday i posted this video for your six months plan you will see that how in these six months we are going to complete the syllabus with proper revision with proper pyq practice with the tests as well so you will get doubt sessions you will get pyq practice sessions you will get our classes you will get our mentorship sessions as well so without any delay join the batch now so here in the description box you will find a link click on that link students click on that link and you will be redirected to this page right so pay the fee and be the part of this batch so without wasting your time you have six months in which you can complete your syllabus you can revise your syllabus and you can ensure a government seat in a good medical college so let's start it now students without wasting any time so all the best for your counseling if there is any doubt related to anything you can let me know in the comment section thank you so much students thank you